So I want you to think about some of the primary roles that you can um, take on when you're in a group. Some of the main ones that, that you might think about are the initiator, the coordinator, the evaluator, the information giver, and the energizer. So as you're established in a group, um, the norms are established and people will either fall into their roles and just kind of assume certain roles or you have, may have those roles assigned. For example, the group may rotate leaders and one could be given the role of the initiator, one could be given the role of the evaluator, etc. However, often people will take on the roles that they feel most comfortable within. So I want you to stop and think for a second about several groups that you're currently a part of. Do you fall into a similar role in each? Why or why not? So we'll pause here so you can think about that a second. Now I'll share with you some of my examples. In my example, I find that I fall into one of two roles, either the initiator or the energizer. I find that when I'm in a new group that we're just becoming established, I take on the initiator role. I tend to be the one that gets the group together to solve the problem, discuss a training or whatever. I really am kind of that catalyst. Um, I compare it to a circus ringleader. I'm the one who gets the show going, pulls everyone together to meet the needed acts, if you will, to meet that goal. Now in more established groups, I also tend to be the energizer. And the energizer is often the one who will motivate the group to achieve the goals and perhaps stimulate activity when it's needed. I tend to think of them kind of like a cheerleader, but not too obnoxious and without those negative stereotypes. This is a person that will really provide a spark to get things going if they stall and even provide that re-engagement when it's needed. So again, I encourage you to think about the roles that you currently take in your groups, where you fit in, and perhaps if there's area for you to grow.